go yourself for a chill. Top of the glass quarter. Hold on. Hope everybody having a great morning. Woke up in good spirits. Good vibes and all, you know. Should have speak my spill. A couple days ago, um, I didn't get a chance to finish up. Put a little video I was going to talk about some events that happened over the weekend. You know, uh, I'm going to talk about this uh, little dirt situation. You know, um, I think this dude, you know, I put up on social media his last four albums. I know he probably had a mixtape here or there, probably. I don't really listen to Young Dirk like that. I don't really listen to drill music like that. Um... But Young Dirk, or Little Dirk, excuse me, um, last four albums, people close to him died, got clipped, you know? Um, you know, they've been saying, you know, FBG Duck Mom been saying, even King Von Uncle even told him, stop this in the dead, you know? I think this cat... I think this, I think this dude sold out. I really do, I really do think he sold out. Um, he's of age to know better. He's of age to know what's up, know what's going on in his city in Chicago. And by you, first, first and foremost, I mean, Keith Chief, he's in a cut. He's doing, you know, he's doing other things. <clears throat> Little Reese, you know, he a typical real nigga. Remember, nigga shit with that dude. Um, other cats, you know, end up doing their own thing, you know. But Dirk, him knowing, hey, good morning, how you doing? Him knowing what's up, him knowing how his town give it up, you know, especially with the gangs and all that. For you to keep this in the dead, for you to keep, you know, doing shit to irritate your own people, to cause friction, that tells me about you. Tell me about tell me that tells me the type of individual you is. And the first thing that came that came to mind was his father. His father just came home, I think about a year or two ago. You know, he did a long did a long bid, you know, his father's, uh, I think, BD, and, you know, I guess he got ties with GDs, whatever, you know, so, I know, I know people probably, I know people close to him probably told him, yo, man, chill out, stop, stop doing what you're doing, you know, you, you creating stuff, you know, that, that, that's going to that's, that's gonna cause problem after problem after problem. You know, um, I hope, you know, his brother got killed over the weekend, so I'm hoping that, you know, this situation with his brother and whatnot and people close to him, I'm hoping that, you know, he can wake up and really cut the bullshit out, you know? Um, as I'm hearing things and as I saw what I saw, I don't wish bad on people, but at the same time, when you're doing fuck shit and you know what you're doing, you know, I really got no, I really don't, I really got no, you know, I don't got no self-pity for you. I don't, you know, if anything happened, I'd be like, hey man, you know, that's the type of energy you put out type of energy you want to receive back you know what I'm saying so you know that's just that's just how the game go but um still dirt man you gotta get it together homie you know um like I said I really do think this dude sold out 
you know, I say what I, I, I you know, I, I, you know, I say what I say, you know, you gotta get it together, but is it too late? I don't know, you know. When you, when you pretty much sold out, and when you getting tired of bullshit, when you going against their grain, they're gonna put you out there. Gonna embarrass you and a lot of a lot, lot of a lot of fucked up shit is gonna start happening. I don't wish it, but like I said, man, when you put yourself out there like that, some repercussions. You know, so but after what I saw, I really do think this dude sold out, man. For real. It's like, I mean, you drop an album, somebody somebody gotta die. It's like, I mean, come on, man. People people already know what's up. I mean, I've seen other bloggers gave they gave their reasons why, you know, but it all leads up to, you know, this and the dead, this and who this, who that, you know. Bunch of nigga shit, man. You know, um, one thing doing doing your music, doing what you do, but at the same time. When you're saying things and doing things that's going to cause some friction, I mean, come on, fam. 28 years old, you're a man, you already know what it is, and you know how your city give it up. You dig? So, like King Von Uncle said, yo, man, you made it. You're rich, you got money, cut the dumb shit out. That's a problem with a lot of, um, Right. That's the problem with a lot of our people, man. A lot of our people really don't know how to really can't say we. I, I I know how to. I'm older, but even when I was younger, I always knew how to stay out the way. You know what I mean? Always knew how to stay out the way, especially if I know repercussions and what it's going to do. You know, um, a lot of brothers, man, y'all gotta really, you gotta really get, get your mental right, man. You made it, you made it. You there, you know what I mean? You know, and you still, you still, you still, you still wanna do the nigga shit. You still wanna be on, on that retarded shit. It's like, yo, man, it doesn't make sense. Hold on. Should've took my shades, but... Hot. Well, I wasn't gonna go to the gym again off topic. I wasn't gonna go to the gym today, but I'm gonna go to the gym. Fuck that. I gotta go hard. Get in there though, you know? But anyways, hold on, hold on. Yeah, man, gets back what I was saying. Yeah, man, a lot, of, you know, a lot of you dudes, man, gotta move right. You gotta be smart, man. You know, it's bad enough they don't want to see us at a certain level. Then when you get to that level, you still, you still want to be, you still, you know, want to be on some dumb shit. You know what I mean? It just doesn't make sense. You really don't. You really don't. Like. You know, ass everywhere. I'm an ass man. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, man. Hold on. <laughs> Damn, bro. Jesus. Like what I like. You know, I love all women, man. All races, creeds, whatever. As long as they ain't too sloppy. Ain't too young, ain't too old. It is what it is. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, man. Um, you know. Yeah, man. You know. Okay, y'all can't stop stepping up. Get y'all shit together. You know. Just take, you know, just just have some integrity, have some morals. You know what I mean? 
it's just don't go for a little dirt. It's go for a lot of you, a lot of you cats out there, man. Just have some integrity and have some morals about yourself. Today. That's all, man. But so it's hot. It's, it's, it's humid. Yeah. Just want to, you know, have a vlog about this little drug situation. Um, another thing too, um, little Reese, I mean, not little Reese, uh, Pooh Shiesty, he just turned himself in yesterday because of a situation that happened in Miami on May 29th. He, uh, they got him on aggravated assault, but what really happened was as he was leaving the club, his gun fell, and as it fell, a shot rang out. Nobody got hurt or nothing. It was just an accident. He'll beat it. They said if convicted, he'll face 20 years, but he'll beat it. Plus, you know, he's, he's popping right now. You know, he got the money. You know, when you get the money, you got a good lawyer, especially a good Jewish lawyer. Be all right. Be a little slap on the wrist, you know? It'll be fine. That's another thing, too. A lot of you cats, man, y'all got the money. Yo, man, get some uh, security around you, man. Get some security around you. You know, you got a lot of big dudes that are certified or got their gun license, whatever. They can use the job, you know? Just take care of them, that's all. Just hit them off right. You know what I'm saying? Hit them off right, and you'll be all right. You know? One hand wash the face. No, one hand wash the other, two hands wash the face. So that's all, man. But so let me uh let me go grab a little breakfast. Let me go ahead to the crib. What? I was getting what? I, I gotta make I gotta make a couple calls and you know. I'm gonna take a nap. Go to the gym. Well, I might go to the gym and then come home shower and nap and catch this next game tonight. Head back to the bullshit. But yo, it's me, Jew, outside Jew. Alright, it's home day, it's Wednesday. Y'all enjoy y'all day. You know, stay on cold. You know, stay nigga free. Alright, it's part of you getting hot. You know, we know how every hood in America gonna be, man. Got people out there, man, just stay out the way. Keep to yourself if you got a shorty. You know, be with her, man. Go travel, go something, you know. If you got a, if you got a job or a couple gigs, do what you do, stack your bread at the same time, enjoy, live life, man. All right, come on. You know? Just stay away from all that nigga shit. And y'all be y'all be fine, y'all be alright. Alright, man, yo, I'm out. I holler, I'ma come back. Might talk some sports stuff. Chop it up with y'all with some basketball. You know how I do it's playoffs, so you know. Alright. See y'all dudes. <laughs> See y'all cats, man. Y'all still got y'all little fatal attraction. Oh so <laughs> oh, shit, yo man. I just be coming across and I be like, yo man. Damn. <laughs> it is what it is. Yo, I'm out. I'm a holler. Slow.